Hey everyone, I'm Ava and today I'm going to show all of you how to make some adorable Barbie doll swimsuits because summer's right around the corner now and I think they could use some new swimsuits. For almost all of the bathing suits, I am going to be using this pattern that I do have available linked in the description box below. This is from my last Barbie doll bathing suit tutorial video, but this time we're going to make some more and switch up the pattern and designs a little bit. For the first bathing suit, I have this fabric that is actually a scrap piece from an actual bathing suit. And for all of the bottoms in this tutorial, I am going to be using this pattern because it is perfect for making doll bathing suit bottoms. So I'm just going to start by just laying it down on the fabric and there's not really a good side or bad side to this, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to trace around it with my pencil. And actually, I'm going to use a felt instead, just because it'll be a lot easier to see. And I'm also going to actually just kind of bring down, this is the front piece here, the smaller one is going to be in the front. And I'm going to just kind of curve it down a little bit. So it kind of just goes in a little bit like that, just for a bit of a different look in the front. And now I'm going to cut it out, but when I cut it out, I'm going to cut a little bit away from the line. So there will just be a little bit of room that we can fold over later. And also these parts where I didn't close them off here and there's just openings, I'm going to actually cut kind of long lines because we're going to use those to tie the bottoms together later. From here, I'm going to be folding over all of the rough edges, and you could definitely fold over and sew down the raw edges. It'd probably make it better quality, but I just use my hot glue gun personally because I actually don't plan on getting the bathing suits wet, and the hot glue gun works well for me, and it's just a lot less time consuming as well. But again, you could definitely just make the seam allowance a lot bigger and then fold it over and sew it down, but I'll be using the hot glue gun. And now that all the edges are glued, I'm going to put the bottoms on the doll and tie up the sides. And then I'm going to snip away the excess on these ties, just so they're a little bit smaller. And this is how they look. I know the ties might look like a little chaotic and messy, and you definitely could have just sewed the ends together and not tied them like this but I think it'll match nicely with what we're gonna do for the top. For the top, I have that same fabric again, and I'm basically gonna cut out a long strip that's around like an inch in width. And then I'm gonna kind of cut it so at the end, it kind of narrows out to a thin strip. Here is my weird looking shape. And I am realizing now that I definitely should have made it a little bit longer and also wider as well. But I'm still going to make this work, and I'm actually not going to fold over and glue the edges for this one. It definitely could make things look cleaner, but for this one, you won't really notice as much, and I think I can get away without doing that. So I'm going to just lay the doll down, and basically just tie the two ends in front. So here's the first bathing suit all completed. Again, I definitely would have made the top a little bit thicker and also longer just so I could glue down the edges and it could tie easier. But um, I'm still really happy with how it looks. And keep in mind, I'm kind of experimenting here as we go because I'm in a bit of a time crunch and I couldn't really figure this all out beforehand. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out and I still think it's really cute. And now you can kind of understand why I wanted the bottom to be tied as well because it kind of just goes with the same vibe as the top now. So yeah, I like it. <laughs> For the next bathing suit, this time I have this green fabric. Again, it was from an old bathing suit and has this kind of interesting pattern on it. Kind of like, I don't even know what this is called, but I think it'll look really good on a bathing suit. So flipping this piece around so that the wrong side is facing up, I'm once again going to trace the bottom pattern onto this piece of fabric here. So I have it all drawn out and I could just continue from here, 
but I actually want these bottoms to be a little bit high-waisted, so I'm going to actually extend the top and bottom a little bit. And now I'm going to cut it out with the same kind of deal where I'm going to leave a little bit of space from the line for a seam allowance. And this time I'm not cutting it out so there's long strips because we're actually just going to sew this one and not have ties. And now, just like before, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue down the edges. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, you could sew this or use fabric glue or whatever you want. But again, hot glue just seems easiest for me. So I'm going to glue down all the edges except for the ones on the ends here. So I'm not going to fold over and glue those. But everything else, I will be gluing down. I will admit that it looks quite strange. That's just because the hot glue kind of did, like, made it kind of curl up weirdly. But when it's actually on the doll, it'll look really good. I am confident. So I'm just going to place it on the doll so the wrong side is facing out. And then I'll kind of mark where I'm going to need to sew it together. And I'm going to repeat that on the other side as well. So then off the doll, I'm lining up the edges. And I'm going to sew on those two lines that I just marked. And I'm probably going to use my sewing machine for this just because it's much quicker. But you could definitely do this by hand with a needle and thread as well. And I'm then I'm going to cut off the excess fabric. Flip it inside out. And try it on the doll. And yeah, I think that actually looks really good. I like how it's high-waisted too. As for the top for this bathing suit, we're actually going to kind of draw up our own pattern with the help of this one here. I'm actually going to use a pencil. So using this pattern, I'm going to firstly just trace around it. And now we're going to alter it like completely. <laughs> so I'm going to bring up the sides a lot here and then I'm going to kind of bring them in. Until I kind of have this sort of shape, kind of like a cropped tank top look. This pattern here was mainly just to see how wide we needed it and get an idea, but this is going to be more of what we need. And I'll quickly pop on screen the measurements for this in case you want to make an exact replica. All right, now let's cut it out. And then I'm going to trace this out on that same fabric again with the wrong side facing up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to extend these sides as far as I can go here. And same with these ones up here. Now I'm going to cut this out. For this one, I'm not going to worry about any seam allowance. I'm going to cut right on the line, except for underneath here, I'm actually going to leave quite a lot of seam allowance at the very bottom. But everything else, I'm just going to leave. All right, hot glue gun time. I'm going to glue over all of the raw edges, except for these ones on the end here and these ones up here. But everything else, I'm gonna fold over and glue down. Here it is all glued over. And again, it's doing that weird thing where it's all kind of like curling up from the hot glue, but it's just cause I use this fabric, which I do really like, but it's definitely a little bit inconvenient to work with. But right now I'm going to put the top on the doll and bring it around into the back. And that's about the perfect length cause I'm gonna sew on a little snap button on in the back so it can open and close. So that'll probably be perfect. I'm just gonna make a little dot of where the button should go just so I know. So yeah, here are the little, oh, they're called snap fasteners, not buttons, um, but this is what I'm gonna be using. And I'm going to sew one side to the front and then one side to like the wrong side on the other side. And then it'll be able to open and close. And I'm gonna do that with a needle and thread. I have those sewed on, and now I'm going to put that on the doll. And it looks good so far, but now we have to deal with these straps. So I'm gonna take off the top again, and I'm actually gonna put it back on, but inside out. I'm gonna pull the straps over the doll's shoulders into the back, and then I'm gonna glue the straps in place.
So then if we take it off, flip it around, and put it back on the doll, the straps are in place. And this is how the bathing suit looks. I actually really like how it turned out and I really like this fabric, even though it was kind of difficult to work with at times, but it is a really cute swimsuit. It's pretty basic and that's why I'm considering cutting a little slit in the top right here. This could either go really well or really bad. So let's just take a moment to admire how the bathing suit looks right now in case this ruins everything. All right, so I'm just gonna like carefully cut a slit right there. This might be a horrible decision. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, I'm trying to decide how I feel about that. I think it's cute for sure, but I'm just trying to decide if I liked it better before when it was closed. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. I actually think it makes it a little more unique with the cut in it. So I'm not too mad about that decision. However, I do want to try one thing because I did have a backup plan. I always have a backup plan. <laughs> just kidding. I usually never ever have a backup plan. I just wing things and usually it goes horribly wrong and I regret it. But this time I actually had a backup plan in case the slit didn't really look the way I wanted it to. I'm going to try something. Hopefully I don't regret this decision because I don't have a backup plan for the backup plan. But I have this little piece of wire that I kind of bent in a V. And oops. And I'm gonna glue it like right along the slit. So hopefully the slit will keep its shape and kind of look more, I don't know, like sturdy. I don't know. We're just gonna see how this goes. <laughs> I'm gonna do this off camera. This is too stressful. Okay, let's see if that makes a difference at all. Okay, I actually think that did help. The little slit just looks more like an actual V and like it's actually gonna stay like that and not just like pop open weirdly. So I think that method might have been successful. Now you guys need to let me know if you liked it better without the cut in general, with the cut or with the cut and the wire. I actually think I like it best the, with the cut and the wire. I actually think this bathing suit's really cute. So I know that I said I'm making three doll bathing suits, but I'm running out of time to finish this video and like have it uploaded in time. But I did discover something that I'm about to show you. So basically, we remember this bathing suit, right? This is the one that comes right from the original pattern and was the one I made a whole separate video on. Um, and it's super cute, right? However, I discovered a different way you can style the top to give it a completely different look. So if we just undo this and we crisscross them in the front, okay? Trust me, trust, trust, trust the process. And then we tie that behind her neck. We have a completely different looking top. Like, doesn't that look so cool? And yes, I'm aware I didn't make a completely new bathing suit for the third bathing suit, but this is still considered like a new bathing suit because it really gives it an entire new look. Let me know if this is cheating or not, guys, but I still think this is pretty cute and it's basically like a two-in-one bathing suit, so even better. <laughs> And if you do forget how to make this bathing suit, you can definitely just check out the original video where I made it. But it's definitely pretty straightforward and similar to the other bathing suits we made already. Except the top was just made using the actual pattern from the top. So pretty self-explanatory. And, and yeah, I just thought this was a pretty cool little hack to kind of get a two-in-one bathing suit. Here are the dolls in the bathing suits. And I actually love all of these so much. They're all pretty simple and straightforward to make. This one is probably the most difficult, but still it was pretty easy and I think they look great. Comment below and let me know which of these three is your personal favorite. I actually really love how this middle one turned out, so it might have to be my favorite. Before we end today's video, the shout outs for today go to Brookie McBentley, that girl Anna and Global Scout. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And remember, if you have a chance of getting a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. Thank you again so much for watching. I know this was a pretty thrown together video or at least it kind of felt like it for me, but I've been super busy this week and I'll be super busy next week as well because it's that time of year where finals are going on and I'm just crazy busy studying and everything. So next week I might not be able to post a video, but the week after I'll be back at it again and throughout the whole summer I'll have lots of time to work on videos, but I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up on that. Anyways, thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye!